Hi guys, hi guys, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Welcome back to it. another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Very, very welcome. So, if you're new here, guys, my name is Pirile Papra, and thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like the video while you're still watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, yeah, let us get down to this video, and yeah, let's just talk about Umusa Kaula again, you guys. I see Umusa Kaula is trending, okay? So, Umusa Kaula is trending because of um. I, I can see Chua, he's being sued. He's being sued by some. Um, we're gonna go and read that from Uzimo Chadez into you guys. Where Musaka, I see uh, here an article that talks about how Musakola is being sued for half a million rand. I do not know you guys. We're gonna go and read and find out. Do Musakola bam you guys when they. But then uh, there's this thing of uh, Musakola being uh, spoken about. You see what a. You know, like the, the the video that he made about AKA the whole uh, the passing of AKA about DJ Zintle and the child, whatever you guys, that language that he used when he was talking about AKA's child. Okay, so yeah, a lot of people are blaming him for for saying that. You guys, okay, how can you use uh, the word uh, F what 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 when you are speaking about that innocent child? You know. I know and I understand very well, guys. As Umundo Obuga, I channel like Musa Kaula. Oh, he uses that language so much. I do not know who say if I ever can YouTube. Me now on my channel, I can't use that language too much. F what what, B what what. I can't. I can't even like. I do not want to use that language. I I kind of like. I can't. Not even to a child or or to an elderly. I can't use that language. But Musa Kaula is using that language like a lot. I see like on my videos when I use that. Even if if I use the, the the these like val this vulgar language and all that, obviously there will be something wrong when I'm trying to monetize my video, you know. So I I do not know how he survives that. He doesn't he doesn't care. Maybe I don't know because wow the language that Omusa Kaula uses, guys. I would not say on Cairo only, like on everyone. Okay, that's why I, other people are being uh, 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 um. Upset to the ET in our descent of Musa Kaula because we are praising him. The more he calls people B words and F what what, F in what what, B what what, people keep on praising him. But ah, oh, okay, Musa Kaula, which I look at. That's how he speaks, man. We enjoy him like that. Okay, we, I'm still watching his videos. I'm still enjoying him. Okay, even me, I still watch Musa Kaula. Okay, because guys, he's a YouTuber and he's doing very well. Which is good, you guys. You see, I'm Boga Vele Vele, but you can. You can you can be a YouTuber, man, and speak about people, you know. You can be a gossip channel, speak about people, and still be respective. You know, like, like talk about them properly, you know, but using those B words and F what what. I, I don't know, you guys. Like they say, to Musaka, oh, you are a guy, I'm trying to Okay, you guys, I'm sure you but you can still talk about people and not use that language, man. So for him to say, um, to say, uh, to speak like that when speaking uh, about Cairo, I'm not, I'm not even going to grab that whole video, that clip that I see people like putting on their videos. Oh, this is how, what he said about Cairo, if, even about a uh, um, who's that? Uh, AKA's ex girlfriend who threw herself from the from the tenth floor. You know when we spoke about okay, uh, AKA, he said, oh, I don't know what to say about this man. Remember you posted that that B. Even if she's no longer here, she's long gone. But he's still using that word on her. He didn't even say Anele Tembe. He said, we know that you pushed that B, you know. Something like that. And then he speaks about Cairo. Okay, that that child, that whatever, that way that he used. I'm not going to say it, you know. Like, I don't know, man. He is like that, yes. He speaks like that, yes. On everyone, yes. He even called Umama Konifekas on that B word. Remember, you guys. A lot of people, man, just uses that word, uses that language. I do not know. It's either Mdom Dala or Ring. And it's not like, I do not know, you guys. I can't be Musa Kaula and survive. Like, honestly speaking, how do you speak about people like that? Gives people some respect. So, you guys, we are making money out of people. We are talking about people when Zimali Ngabo and at least Ibanik is irrespect. You know? 
don't be like using those that language on them and then you are calling them these names just because okay i seem to like i don't agree you guys okay very very simple okay very very we go to his channel we like him we watch but as you tell with respect people especially children there was no need for him to to speak about cairo like that i can see that people are saying ah there's nothing that he did wrong when he what is so wrong about him speaking like that because he speaks like that on everyone Aye, man, but you know, he didn't say it properly. This is me, I don't know you, but according to me, I wouldn't speak like that about anyone's child. You see that effing child, that B, what, what, that, and I can't speak like that. But anyway, I'm Pilile, he is Musa Kaola, obviously, but Kurong, you guys, it's not Kurong. Since the citizen, okay, it's not some time, we still watch. Okay, we still okay, we still watch, but it's sure he can correct that wrong. That is very wrong, Vel, Vel. You don't speak about people, especially the elder, even now, they ain't got a ain't got Imagine Cairo. Respect Cairo, San Gulasagel Babaki, you guys, or teach easy in the one at Jana Kai. As was on pain, man, but they are still grieving, you know. Don't throw those words on them. Kulmengabo, after that, we are and we are monetizing that video, but our Basloni Pinu Basloni, but at the same time, give them some respect, man. I'm spoiling things, so to Mosakaula, I be like that. Yeah, I did watch a video, I got slick talk where he was really saying, no, 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 dude, mm mm. Yeah, we have a very my video. So I phone up my videos with a trend, you guys. I, I want this video to have many views and all that. If I speak like this, people will watch. <clears throat> That's what uh, uh, Slick Talk was saying, you know. Just trying to teach him. But you know what? You can still make your video, record your video, record the card, you post. I want to buy a book without swearing on anyone, without, you know. Just, just do it the right way, man. You don't have to keep on swearing and calling people names. People will come. Some people are very bored by what he's doing. Okay, there are people who love him. Someone even said he represents <laughs> them, you know. But, uh, no, man. Okay, let us just go. i see you again again, Musakala, because the people who argue, still naram rat, still nami I'm trying to Musakala, but still, no. Still, N-O, no, okay? But then, and then here on Uzi Mocha, uh, Lizzie Ndo, did I say Mocha Love Do? Pele Uzi Mocha Lizzie Ndo, this was on the 14th of, uh, this is today, of, of course, 14th of March, okay? The 15th for you. So, um, Musa Kaula sued for half a million rand. Uh, this is Mocha Lizzie Ndo, yes. Okay? So, Musa Kaula is in hot water after a celebrity photographer successfully won a case against him okay this is the celebrity dumisani um his name is oh dumani okay but when a celebrity photographer dumani kuza has successfully sued controversial blogger musa kaula the 31 year old kaula who has rubbed many the wrong um who has rubbed yo <laughs> english will be the end of me yo. okay who has rubbed many the wrong way was ordered to pay 500,000 rands to Dumani by Judge Jordan on the 2nd of March 2023 at the Jobek High Court. Okay, Dumani has successfully sued Umosa Kaula. Okay, punished for defamatory remarks. Okay, Judge Jordan said, having read the documents filed of record, had evidence and submissions by counsel, and having considered the matter, the following order is made. It is ordered that the respondent um, pay the sum of 500,000 to the applicant interest of the aforesaid sum of 500,000 at the rate of 9.7% per annum, a tempo or mora until date of payment in full. The respondent issued public apology and unconditional retraction in writing and published on the respondent's various social media platforms in which the respondent published uh, uh, the said utterances. The court ordered that a uh, uh, that a Musa removes all the defamatory utterances or tweets he made and that he makes a written undertaking that he will refrain from making any further false defamatory or hateful statements about or concerning Dumani. So undermining his reputation here. So trouble started when Musa accused Dumani of being among young boys pimped 
to all the geezers uh, for SEX in exchange for money. In the court papers which we have seen, Dumani said the controversial blogger took to his Twitter account at Musa Kaula on January 28 and alleged that a Houting pimp had booked him to have an unprotected, you know, um, with men at the club. So Kaula's tweet, which was attached to the papers, reads in part, he is going to get... It's going to get AIDS very quickly because nobody wants to use um, a rubber ever that is given. So Dumani said with those remarks. So Kaula implied that he was uh, HIV positive and therefore the allegations which were seen and retweeted uh, by some of Kaula's 183,000 followers were defamatory, hateful, and intended to deliberately humiliate him and undermine his reputation. So Musa is unbothered. Kaula has a love-hate relationship with some of the media personalities uh, whom he featured on his now suspended Twitter account. Problems for the controversial blogger seem to be piling up. On March 8, Kaula appeared in a uh, Friedenberg uh, magistrate court where a pre-trial uh, pre conference was supposed to take place after he was accused of a fatal stabbing of his alleged ex-boyfriend Wandile Kambule on 4 March last year. So meanwhile, despite having his Twitter account suspended, Kaula made a grand entrance on the social media scene again. He reintroduced himself on a YouTube channel with over 50,000 subscribers. He has already quoted controversy on his YouTube channel by dragging the name of uh, South Africa's popular polygamist Musa Mseleku's family. Some celebrities have already threatened to sue him, including Mseleku. Hey, hey Musa, Musa in trouble. Musa, I'm not sure if you're going to get in trouble. I'm not sure if you're going to get in trouble. Musa, Musa is trouble, Kaula. Musa is always into trouble. He is going to be king in every time. So how busy? Kuni mangabantu ana babo aka kambi na makama wa. Can you respect upud aka wagit nenga neza ke nomje nwake? Even if you talk about them, be respectful. They went through a lot. They are still going through a lot. That family. Imagine you, them having you speaking like this about their innocent pretty child. Ngapa we are suishwa imale zingaga. I don't know if my fellow YouTuber. Does have that five hundred thousand? That is half a million, dude. So he's supposed to pay that guy. Even you know, like some people call him uh, the killer blogger because guys, he was accused of stabbing one the Kambule, which was said to be his ex boyfriend, something like that. He got there, he called him out, and then whatever argument they had, almost a stabbed that guy, and he died. So I see people are very, very worried. Why, why is Musa Kaula arrested? Or I, I don't want him to get arrested even though, guys, he killed someone allegedly, you know, because we were not there. I don't know, but it is alleged that he killed someone. And when he was in the hospital, he was in the So when it comes to Musa Kaula, so he needs to calm down, okay? When he was in the hospital, 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 he was in the hospital. Hi, na le malenga ke ngizwa la na le licala le ngapho usifuna ukuzifaka inkinga nawe DJ izinhle calling their children that asazi let's just hope they don't sue you again na nabo izinhle ngale and all that Musa Musa kabaleke le inkinga you guys imala sinayo you guys I always say asi sebenze ni ama yazini bakusuyisha abantu uzoqinisebenzela bona here on YouTube you know, instead of working for your children or your family, I'm our cases, I'm our cases, we buy a suisha, buy a suisha, we are coca, we are coca. Oh, dude, I as well as you guys, because Musa Kaula being Musa Kaula, let us just hope um, he's got that, you know, that, that, that amount that I was reading here. Okay, guys, we do love him, but let him be respectful, man. Sometimes in turn, put your thing. You know, guti, guti was wenge. Guti, okay, now I don't give the f, I don't give the shit, I don't, you know. Guti zan, guti was wenge. Guti zinto zimbi. You know, like guti do man, guti zinto zimbi zo. Can you, can you, can you do man, guti zinto zimbi? Let me get. Oh, guti send you go. Do I go now? Nigga, do guti abantu zinto zimbi. But guti beke guti send you. Maybe you could manga guti wow that person. You know, Musa Kaula wow. Man, check it. Now you're calling people names. Oh, but so we shall not be able to live on to not be. Yes, we can't even. 
for one person, one human being, um, it's a lot, you know. He needs to calm down. And he needs to respect people. He's a, yes, he's a blogger, you guys. There are so many bloggers here. But they are very respectful to people. And my channel is Wabu Ayakula. It's a cool channel, Gamosakaula. Without him swearing and, you know, it's a cool channel, you guys. But anyways, I, I'm not Mosakaula. And I'm not telling him what to do. That is just my opinion. And that's it. I'm not telling him what to do. That is just my opinion. And that's it. I'm not telling him what to do. It's simple, you guys. It's simple, but anyways, I I don't know, you guys. You comment down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. And then I'll see you again on my next upload.